Yo, what's up? I wonder if I can do that longer or shorter. Hmm. I don't know. Longer, shorter? We'll see. Maybe we'll just change it up every now and then. Anyway, you're here for the build update. Day one, day two. What happened? Is that thumbnail clickbait waff? Did you actually die? Surely there's no way you died. You did a practice run of this. So like it absolutely 100% should have been completely fine. You're a hardcore gamer. You have 10,000 hours. You've been playing the game since beta. You should very much know your limits and ultimately... And oh my god, did he really just walk backwards? And wow, that is okay. So I learned build advice from this guy, Jesus. Or at least that's what I was thinking as I died. But the truth is, sleep deprivation is a hell of a thing. Uh, that was 16 hours in. I pretty much hadn't moved, hadn't drank. And when I got up to go use the bathroom, gasoline is what came out of my body. So I am unironically saying this, uh, posture check and stay hydrated, please. Otherwise, dumb stuff like that happens. So it's a rip, these things happen. I took a 20 minute break just to go eat, came back, named my character, we go again, and well, you can guess what we did. So we're in game, we're in the character, currently 92. Uh, after that, I was doing a 26 hour stream, slept for three and a half hours, streamed for another 13 hours, and I ate and here I am. So what's good, what's bad, what would I change? Is there anything good about the build? Anything bad about the build? Which version is better? Uh, you know, just various questions. Let's just kind of go over them. But first, let's just start with the gear. You're probably interested in where are we at right now? What are you doing with the build? And it's pretty simple. You know, 90C, one div, nothing special. And I have, even despite my rip, I've actually been farming guardians. I've been doing my boss rush, boss rush, boss rush atlas. Whoo, boy, this is going to be a tough one. Bear with me, boys. Hold on. I've been doing the boss rush atlas. And, you know, we're kind of piecing it together still, you know, making it work. And, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly... I've had more close calls with ne Necro, ne Necro, whatever, man, the, 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 the undead people, the buffs, uh, they hit me and almost me die. And they're just blue mobs with no damage mods. I, I don't think I have the energy to go find the clip, but basically it's just me walking and then a dog with no damage mods besides pen hits me once and it's a white dog or maybe a magic dog. And then I almost die. And that has consistently happened. And my character isn't amazing but it that really shouldn't be happening on a map that had just blind so uh, i'm gonna make a thoughts video on the league right after this and i have some things uh, to say but the gear is not that bad that really shouldn't be happening so let's just kind of go over where we are the bow it is mid i wish that was you know tier two lightning i wish i had not accuracy, but you know, something else on the suffix that's more useful than accuracy. It's not the worst thing in the world, but you know, obviously it could be better. This bow is like, it's good enough for me to like not want to immediately reroll it, but it's not good enough for me to sit here and say, I want a six socket. The quiver is kind of the same. It's good, but it's not amazing. Could be better, but I need the decks right now. So I'm wearing it. And my damage is, the last I checked, it was on a five link and that was at like level 85. And it was like 1.7 mil and now obviously on a six link and conk effect and levels it's probably like 2.2 to 2.5 mil if i was gonna guess and as you can see yeah i'm wearing elevore and i still have 5600 hp and that's just because hey double down on hp you know i don't want to die again i've been getting hit by crit so reduce crit you know health things like that and the chest is a six link i found it myself didn't buy it uh amulet not wearing a jinx juju because i just can't afford to with my colors and my rolls and everything it's just too hard to fit in so i'm gonna have to figure out how to fit one in because i do want to wear one but right now i don't seem to res res no minion stuff res life res uh chaos and uh yeah that's it says to cap my suppression and that's the gear it's really nothing special conk effect because i am doing a boss guardian farming if you're in hardcore trade, please buy these for me. I'm desperate. I really want to switch to a devouring diadem already so I don't have mana issues and have to wear an enduring mana flask because this really sucks. Anyway, moving on quickly. The next the next steps for me are obviously, well, you know, I would like to get very tanky. I don't have the Gravicious Craft, but I want to get a devouring diadem to solve my mana, put in purity of elements or grace. It just depends. I have to look at reses and stuff like that. So it's going to be either purity or grace. Purity is a lot easier to gear around. It gives your specters and you know stuff res, whereas grace will make us significantly takier. And the only reason I'm really considering that is because this league mechanic is really, really grinding my gears 
and I just don't really want to die because I'm kind of starting to have a lot of fun despite the league mechanic just absolutely beating me head hand over head. If you want to see the gearing and all that, you know, I've been streaming on Twitch, waffles underscore GG, did a what 26 hour and then I just did a 13 hour, so pretty tired pretty beat up but i'm gonna try to answer the i've got a lot of questions and a lot of them are similar so i'll just go off the ones that are the most popular so specters hey you're not running you know the carnage or host specters so so what are those these are called wild beast matrons wild bristle matrons man i always mess that up they are just defensive that's it they are from harvest you can find them you know, they're pretty common and they do a big thing where they stand up, they roar. You've probably felt it where you just can't move all of a sudden. But now they do it against the opponents. So against bosses and stuff, it's just nice, right? It delays their damage and attack from coming out. Lets you feel a little bit safer. However, it obviously you know, can get you killed. If they slow your, you know, ball slam and he's slowed down by 40%, it takes a lot longer for it to go out than, you know, you might just dash into it thinking it was going to slam. So as long as you're aware of it it's really good i really like them there are a lot more other specters just go watch gazzy's video he knows everything about specters i literally have not looked at any of the names all i know is that i liked bears and the carnage specters i didn't feel like i need i didn't feel like i needed them for the damage right now so i just went with these boys ted and tom are kind of crazy they're cracked on the they're cracked on the fortnite sticks for leveling uh i've gotten a lot of questions because some people want to switch over to the build now and uh i let me here let me go see find the gear because i kind of kept it in case i died again here it is so yeah this is the chest i was wearing before this it's just five link but basically the exact same chest and then the bow i wore level 28 i wore this through the campaign and it got the job done it's pretty basic just elemental damage with you know the four link setup i recommended and then i just wore a higher bite and pretty much until maps or at least until i found a broadhead it wasn't this one but it was it was a broadhead and yeah i just put that on and I wore that it's it's the skill kind of just carries you it's one of the best leveling abilities that I've ever used in this game in my entire time ever playing it uh aside from that the next question is you know I mean hey I, I'm gonna be completely honest here do I would I change anything about the leveling setup or anything I would probably say to level less absolution instead of SRS I think SRS is just like a classic skill everybody's used so I felt like it was safer but if you asked me like hey what would you have leveled with I would say absolution because I like it but it's clunky and it's not the most intuitive ability. However, I did level as SRS and it was painful because I couldn't get colors and stuff like that. But eventually I got Bama, you know, we were done and we went straight to the end game. And then obviously you see it in the rip clip. So you kind of know most of the story now. The last question I can think of off the top of my head that people have been asking the most is, hey, uh, which version is better? And my answer is there's a lot of versions. I don't know which one you're talking about. And the other answer is, I don't know. Uh, it's Bama. I kind of feel like when a skill is this strong, there's no wrong answer. Just play whatever looks cool. If you want to do chaos, do chaos. And if you want to know anything more detailed about Bama uh, from the beginning to the end, I have always said, just go check out Prevy. If you want to see, you know, the chaos crit version, go check out his. If you want just like a super budget strip down, you know, I'm, a, I'm doing my Atlas. I just want to, you know, get the Void Stones version then you know this will do it i've also seen a volcanics rift one a doom fledge version i mean when a skill is this strong i don't think there's a wrong way to build it as long as you know the fundamental way the skill works you can probably plug it into any combination and do over two million damage but hey don't hold that one on me i don't know i'm delirious right now so that's it for me that's it for the build i wouldn't change anything my next steps are a devouring diadem and then we're going to redo the gear fix my mana my reses and after that i am finishing my watchstones and we're doing guardian bossing rather than just map bossing and as long as i don't die for seven hours i should be rich and if i do die before then then oh boy then i i'm booting up splitting steel then i'll see you later have a good one hope you enjoy your league launch 